have anything right. Amen. Please tell me about how holy he was because he didn't have it right. Amen. Let's get on back. In the Bible, it taught them just how to make it. Yeah. All right? And a sweet Solomon had so much, he had 250 shots. So guess how much to put in? Amen. And what? And a sweet Solomon was 250 shots. Guess how much to put in? See, it's got to go by magic. So what? It'll be just right. Yes, yes. And what? After the shackle of the sanctuary. And? And a part of olive and hen. One. So the last thing was in there was olive oil. And that was one hen. And all that spices. And that was just put in there for a base. And thou shalt make it an oil of holy ointment. And that's the same ointment, Sister Richard, that Mary put on Dr. Jesus' feet when that oil filled the house. It was so expensive in that day until a poor man couldn't buy it. And nobody could make it but the high priest. And a Gentile couldn't touch it and could, wasn't permitted to have a drop on it. Because it was a pipe of something that the world could not bring. See? All right, and, what? and if your figure's wrong, your answer's going to be wrong. And uh, then second verse. Then a uh, third verse. And thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel, saying, What to say? This shall be an holy anointing oil unto me. And throughout your generation. And upon man's flesh shall it not be poured. Why shouldn't they pour it on them? Why shouldn't they pour it on them? Huh? Now listen, they didn't say unbelief. No man is rich. Now you know what they're saying in your mind? They weren't supposed to put it on him. It was only after they were sanctified and accepted with the high priest, which was with God. Amen. Then it's not called. See, the Bible says in the New Testament, we are not in the flesh. But this is flesh. It simply means flesh wings. Yes, in other words, you couldn't put it on a single Jew. Yes, it had to be a consecrated. You know why, man? The woman put it on Jesus? He was a consecrated. Yes, yes. He said she brought it a good way. And it's going to be, it surely went on their body. But you do you understand what it means when you say flesh? Sinners. That's all they are. When they wear a hat on their head in the pulpit, they are dis dishonoring in their head. Yeah. That's what you call a pulpit sinner. Yeah. Now I'm making over. Then some of you went out and bought some. Yes, and I had a hard time preaching it out your house. Yeah. You're around there talking about, give me my oil, let me put a little. 
Now you can buy that oil, and what you should do with that kind of oil is make you a salad or something. Yes, sir. Good olive oil is good for Yes, sir. You done just as good to have you some 10 W30. That's cool, huh? That's right. That's what I use in my car. That's all well oil. Yeah, that means you can use it up north and down south. But that's it. It's all well oil. Don't follow anybody. It's too big a chance that don't know what they're doing. God, anybody just believe, believe you can trade to what the book said, don't follow him. Yeah. I don't care how much you love him and how much respect you have for him, leave. Yeah. Let him believe him to go where he's going. Yeah. Like the Bible says, the blind lead the blind. The one that's blind and don't know what he's doing will be saved. <laughs> that's what you said. Well, if the Lord can put me in hell because my preacher go to him because he don't know what he's doing. Anybody go exactly where they are leaving them. Yes, where do the sheep go? Where the shepherd go? Yes, the sheep walk into if the shepherd walk into the bear, where are the sheep? In the hands of the bear. Yes, Jesus said in the book of St. Matthews, if the blind lead the blind, the both yes, shall fall in the ditch. Yes, Don't come according to this word. Yes, sir. Don't receive him in your house and don't be in God's speech. Yes, That's where the difference comes. That's why the people say that you think you're better than anybody. Amen. I ain't much. Did you, see Did you get the oil now? This oil was where? In the bottle. Had to put it where? In a bottle. Had to carry it where? In your pocket. Why? It was a type. It was a figure of a thing that was coming. But the prophet kept on saying, Thy hands are on it. Above my fellows. Which is a better than for that above my brother. That's why today in kingdom, there'll be no end. Why? He was anointed above. King Saul. The Holy Ghost heals that anointing according to what you're saying the victory. But the anointing. But the, now this is New Testament now. The anointing. Which you have received from the Father. The anointing which that false prophet poured out on your head. The anointing which you have in what? Where is it? Abides in you. Abides where? In you. On your head. Then that oil they put on your head don't abide. It soon dries or you either wash it away. But this thing must be talking about something real because it said it will abide. Stay with me, Holy Ghost. Yes, when I wash my face, Holy Ghost, the face, you buy. Yes, sir. When I wash my head, the face, you buy. Yes, when all this man made oil is going, Holy Ghost, don't you need me? Yes, you buy. Yes, sir. Well, when he spit the truth is gone, he will abide. Yes, sir. Forever. Yes, sir. He will never leave. Yes, yes, sir. Where is it? In me. I don't have any type. I have it. The real thing. Yes, sir. Somebody said the apostles in the New Testament used that same oil out of the Bible what Jesus gave to us. And you can read that in the book of Mark, you know. The 10th chapter. That same oil. I made a new this. 
Now, if you give, give me another little man, please. Let me just let it go here. Can you see with another little man? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't need to see the second man.
from her body. That this, as well as the man, this was unclean. And all the priests, doctors, children, and all her friends would hide from her. And the book went on to say she spit all over the living. And still one knee. Yes. But one day she heard of Dr. Jesus. Yes. And she said that I heard he ran into the mile in town. Yes. And I think I'll go out and see. Yes. And somebody tried to discourage her. Yes. And said, uh, Woman, don't you know that he's a priest? Yes. And uh, he's not going to accept you in his company. Yeah. Oh, Lord, I need somebody to pray with you. Yeah. And uh, you know, if the natural priest showing you and walk around you, you know the cotton son think he's better than they are, and he's going to scar you to death. Oh, Lord, I heard that woman saying, he don't have to put his hands on me. And I may defile him, but if I get such a to him, he'll go. Yeah. And that woman went to the meeting that day. Hey, God, you can say, oh, no. If you don't pray with me another day, because somebody in your knee died. But you can't get it until I see it. And you ought to see it right now. Thank you. 
like this. I'm glad I can't scream it out. It's just time to talk about it. Paul had an apron situation. He had an apron in the 19th chapter of Acts. Yes. And a man's seed is anointed. Yes. And the giving of children. 